also a professional dancer. So tell us about how, how um, dancing has benefited your acting career and any other aspect, any part of your life. You know, I think dancing has probably benefited my life more than anything else. Um, it gave me a group of friends when I needed it that I didn't have. It gave me um, a sense of confidence to live in my own skin, to be happy with who I was, because you're constantly in a room of mirrors. and. You are learning to dissect little tiny pieces, you know, a muscle, a hand, a, a toe, and so you have to look at yourself, and at some point you have to become okay with what you see, and uh, it gave me discipline, a ton of discipline, because there is an exact right way to do every move, and you have to learn it, and you have to recreate it every time. Um, and then it gives me so much joy. As an actor, you rarely get to portray all the characters that you want, you know, um, we, you live in these little boxes in Hollywood, you know, this is who you are, this is the way we see you. In dance, it's not like that. Uh, you turn on a song, everybody in the room gets to be that character, everybody in the room gets to tell their story exactly how they want to tell it, and so it brings so much joy to me. Even though I, I'm not a professional dancer anymore, every time I take class, my heart is just lifted. Um, yeah, dance has been a huge part of my life. Hey, tell us about your time on BET's The Game. You played Dion. Yeah. She was um, sexy, confident. Yes. Uh, and she just made a splash on the screen when she was <laughs> there. There was a there was collective buzz going on the fans watching the show. Saying, who is this new star? Who is this new actress coming to the show? Thank you for so, saying that. Tell us about how you got the part. Tell us about how you kind of made it yours. Wow, uh, I have such incredible memories of that whole experience. Um, I had auditioned for Mara um, for her show Girlfriend. She's the creator and this extraordinary woman who I idolize in so many ways. Um, but she, I had auditioned for Girlfriend several times and I always got the you know, not quite right for this part, but we're still considering you kind of feedback. And I always, you know, you don't know how much BS that is. Is that just someone trying to be nice? Um, and I was always heartbroken not to get to work with this incredible woman that I would audition with. And then all of a sudden I got a call that she wanted to see me for this pilot that she was doing. And uh, I auditioned for the lead part like four or five times for the part that Tia eventually did. And uh, it just, I think, I think in all honesty, it was a name recognition issue. They knew that the pilot was going to go, and they really needed someone that they knew could carry a show, that they knew could bring in an audience, and so it just, it was down to, to Tia and I actually testing, and I was absolutely devastated not to get that part, obviously. Um, and I, as I was leaving, they asked me to go back to the studio with everybody, um, meaning, you know, you didn't get the part, but come back and watch someone else celebrate. And I was like, oh my God, I don't know if I can do this. It was, it was really difficult. But when I got out of the car at the studio, Mara came up to me and just so genuinely, like, no Hollywood BS, just, uh, I love you, I think you're so talented. Um, we are going to write you an incredible character for this show. And she said, I'm gonna do it personally because I don't know if everyone knows, but there's usually a team of writers. And there's a head writer who sort of is like, this is the direction. But then there's a team of writers who fill in all the dialogue. And she said, no, I'm gonna personally write your arc. And, and this, is, this is still the big jump off that you wanted. And I didn't know whether to, to believe that or not, but sure enough, my first episode was just incredible. This incredible character, Dion, came to life. Um, and I was so honored that she, that she cared enough to, to write it, you know? I mean, I was just another actor auditioning. She didn't have to. So uh, that's how Dion was born, actually. And it was scary to play her at first because she is so in your face and so confident that oftentimes women are labeled as bitches, which I was. And I have a million stories about fans who were afraid to come up to me because they thought, like, oh, Dion, Dion, serious. That's probably how Shanti is. And uh, I think season three, they kind of opened Dion up a little to a nicer relationship with Tia's character, and all of a sudden people started seeing what motivated Dion, which is 
it's okay to be confident. It's okay to be about your career. You don't have to tiptoe around people's feelings all the time. It doesn't mean you're a bitch. Um, that's not how I am in real life. I am a tiptoer, but I loved that we presented a character that's not like that and that audiences learn to love her. That meant a lot to me. So how did that feel to play a character that is somewhat outside of yourself, kind of yeah. the complete opposite? Was that fun to do? Was that exciting? Was that kind of like a challenge as an actress to do? You know, I don't know if it's a good thing to say, but it wasn't a challenge. Uh, maybe because... It wasn't a stretch? It, well, it's a total stretch. <laughs> I know, right? It's a total stretch of, uh, of how I feel uh, entering a room. But it's also like this... Maybe it's that we all kind of want to be that person who doesn't care what people think. And, um, so it was it was really fun to play. I will say I was very nervous um, to say the really nasty things to Tia or um, uh, to Wendy. But then when they took it so lighthearted and we became such good friends, then it was just fun. It was like, how sassy can I be in this? You know, like um, Salim, who is Mara's husband, Salim Akil, would direct a lot of episodes. And I always loved it when he directed it because he would always try and find something interesting and fun to kind of pick up the scene and I remember one one time I was supposed to like flick a piece of popcorn at Tia and he was like throw the whole bowl at her Whoa. exactly and I was like oh yes you know the, and but if Tia wasn't the wonderful person that she is and we didn't have that relationship I would be scared in return I just wasn't you know I flung the bowl at her and then she threw it back at me and we, I mean it was it was awesome and I think that's why the entire show did well is it was a family affair, people cared about each other and people cared about the work.